Faith Keeper build is a level 150 Dexterity Faith PvP build that utilizes two Faith weapons with letters like Greatsword on the main hand and the Sword of Light on the offhand. Two weapons that complement each other very well for Faith damage output, boosted even further by the Rotten Wing Insignia due to this build having multi-hit combos, along with the two-handed Talisman for when you two-handing letters like greatsword which just boosts the damage even further and allows you to decimate your opponents. Light, the sort of light Ash of War also does boost your faith damage output which pairs greatly for Needle Piercer. Let us sword Ash of War which also does debuff your opponent if even one light ray hits them. But if you guys want the rest of this build stay tuned for the build breakdown and now let's get right into the PvP. Yo, whoa, whoa, chill out, bro. Wask, coming in fast. Let's go. Ooh, dude, he was not expect. Look how fast I was able to get all those hits in. The damage. Ooh, perfect. Let's go. Damn, only 483. Let's try and see if we can finish it with the offhand. Oh, bro, po Dude, right in the kidney. GG. Hey. Wimley with the pumpkin head. Oh, and uh, the Mantis Blade. Dope, dope. Super underrated weapon. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to hit him with that. But it is a great distraction. Let's freaking... Oh my god, dude, the damage output is insane. Uh-uh-uh. Let's go, finishing it off with the light greatsword for the win, GG. Hey. Logan? Logan, okay. Oh wait, oh okay. Distracted by his name a little bit. Oh my, dude, what? I can't believe I just poise broke through all of that. Dude, I love using that as distraction and then doing the L2 as follow up, nasty. Loose, how ironic, as I am the Knight of Light. What is that? Claymore? No, that's not a Claymore. Blanish, Blanish Knight Greatsword. Spamming parries. <laughs> I was kind of expecting him to do that one. Ooh, let's go. Oh, oh, dude, that would have been so sick if I finished him with that. Alright, we're gonna have to get him with this. <laughs> no way I actually got him with that. Oh my god, GG's. Oh, Wembley's back, looking very Drake esque. Oh, with the Sword of Dark. Hey, babe, chill. <laughs> oh! Oh, that was cool. That was cool. That was cool as hell, Wembley. But the Sword of Night ain't got shit on the Night of Light. Oh, and it's Radished up next with the Black Knight. Um, I almost called it the Glaive, but that's Star Tools 3. Halberg. Let's go, Mushroom King. Oh, with the headshot. Couldn't capitalize. What the? F <laughs> <laughs> what is this fucking lag, dude? <laughs> what the? Fuck? Oh man. A pro fight, five hundred bucks, and I got two hundred for an amateur. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's why I'm like, All right. And this guy also had- Oh, dude, no way. I can't believe I just hit him for that much damage. Dude, this build is so nice. Like, I really updated myself this time. Oof. Oof. Garb with the Great Katana. My favorite, of course. Oh, I can poke. You want to poke? A lot of running attacks with this one. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Ooh. Oh, bro, he has some 
sniper armor. No, ah, oh, I that could have ended very badly. Did not mean to do that. Oh no! <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> GG. Ooh, metal slave coming in fast with the Shamshir. What the? That was weird. What the hell? I, I, I don't even know what just happened. What? Again? What is going on? Is he lagging or am I lagging? I can't even see. What the fuck? Every time he gets close to me, he like stutters all stupid. I'm thinking it's him. Am I wrong for thinking it's him? Ah, wow. Let's go! Let's go! You stupid freaking lag! Get the frick out of here, man! Of course, it was only a matter of time before I ran into another Faith Keeper. But as always, there can only be one. He who hesitates loses! Or whatever that one famous quote is. Let's go. Does he also have lettuce? Let's show him what the light or sort of light can do. Okay, okay. Like that? Ah, okay. He didn't fall for it. Ooh, let's go. Whoa, no way. What? You know what? I'll take it. GG. Oh, and it's Meta Slave SRT. You know this guy's gonna go hard. With the offhand baby axe, which, how come I've never got credit for pioneering that? I was doing that way before it got popular. Rust, you've gotta at least mention my name on that. Let's go, let's go. What the frick? How did he poise through that? Alright, alright. We can still win this. No. No. Holy shit. Knives. Come on. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, man. GG. Welcome to the build breakdown, guys, where we discuss stats and equipment for this build. But if you guys enjoyed what you guys watched, please remember to titty smack that like button for me and subscribe to the channel for more Elden Ring PvP builds. And now, let's get right into the breakdown. So we're going to be rocking with Lita's Greatsword plus 10, netting a 666 attack power with its Ash of War Needle Piercer, which is an Ash of War that is actually not that great because it's super easy to dodge, but if you do manage to land all the lights, it makes for really good damage. We're also going to be offhanding the Sword of Light plus 10, mainly because it's a great weapon to offhand to create more of an interesting moveset. Even though this weapon already has a real intricate moveset, this just tops it all off. And its Ash of War Light is not the best, to be honest with you. Most people will see it coming a mile away and can dodge it easily, but it does boost your faith damage output, which can come in handy if you're trying to land Needle Piercer. Quick tidbit about Needle Piercer, it actually debuffs your opponent with whatever buff they have. If even one Light Ray hits them, they are debuffed, which actually comes in handy for all those people that like to buff like five times just for one <laughs> uh, duel. So we're going to be using the complete Oathkeeper set, Helm, Armor, Gauntlets, and Greaves. For our talismans, we're going to be using Shard Alexander, Star Scourge Heirloom, and a two-handed talisman along with the Rotten Winged Insignia. We are going to be at a level 150 with 60 Vigor, 20 Mind, 20 Endurance, 15 Strength, 60 Dexterity, 10 Intelligence, 39 Faith, and 10 Arcane. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. So remember to titty smack the like button for me, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.